everyone we guys are welcome back to my channel um i want to use this medium to say a very big thank you to all of you for always subscribing and um all your comments and your thumbs up i really appreciate you um in today's class i want to show you how to cut eight pieces get um let me quickly show you how to do that this is um i'm making use of um three yards of um fabric Ankara fabric. So you need to do is just fold it into four equal parts. If you like, you can depending on how full you want it. If you like, you can make it of three and a half or four yards. But this is three yards, so just fold into four equal parts. Fold into four equal parts like this. So then you measure four inches here, four inches here, four inches here. So what I mean in essence is you measure four inches or two from here. Four inches or two like this. So from this point, actually I'm making use, this is the old length, I'm using the old length as the skirt length. So from this point, you are going to measure nine inches. That is for the hip. We all know that it's um, nine inches is um, hip standard hip measurement from waist but if you're making for a shorter uh someone you can you can make use of nine inches but it's usually it's in, uh, nine inches so from here get your get your knee length me i usually use um whatever i have here from here to this place i use it from here to this place to get my knee that's what i usually do so this is it. So now this is automatically this is serving as the waistline. This is the hip line, this is the knee line, and this is the full length. So what you are going to do now is from here, you're just going to open it up to this place. That is only the upper part. Only the upper part like this. your ruler to you use your ruler to connect it that is from here from here you are going to open it up to this place so now you are going to create your zip allowance here on this back part so this is um two inches then to create to give it both uh both allowance here or sitting allowance 2.5 then here two inches so you just connect like this you connect like this so when you get to this place too from this point just open it up to this place This part now we've already created um what we want to create from here. So any other thing from here now is going to serve uh, you are going to cut it as six pieces cut. So now after when you might have done this, you know if you look at it now the front is not straight now. You understand? This is the opening and this is the slanted part from here. So now from here your nipple your ball span measurement divided by two which is nipple to nipple divided by two here is um four inches then whatever you have here you are going to minus half inch from there then you mark here so i'm putting 3.5 here so connect to this place connect to this place like this then i made mention of this top the other time that this down part it doesn't have a standard measurement you can decide to just use 10 depending on how big your fabric is you can decide to use 10 11 12 13 14 depending on how how full you want this skirt to be and how big your fabric is but in this case i'll just use um, 
I'll use 10 inches. From this point, we connect to this place. From this point, you connect to this place. So you know we are we are, we are cutting both the front and the back together. So on this hip line, you are just going to add half inch. On this hip line, you are going to add half inch because of the back uh, both allowance. You are going to have um, you, you had half inch here, so the cutting is going to be like this. The cutting is going to be like this because of the back. But mind you, after cutting them together like that, you are, seeing, you are going to trim this upper part. You are going to trim it straight. So this half inch now is just to create both uh, allowance for the back. So look at this. So look at it here. Look at this. That is the half inch. So all you are going to do now is just take off this uh, upper one, then you trim it straight because the front cannot have that bolt uh, allowance. The front cannot have that bolt allowance. So this is it. You just make it straight. Then we've already created uh, what we want to create here. Can see the shape that is the bolt allowance. So now, so all you need to do now is just flip over, you know, after cutting, after cutting like this, after cutting it out. So all you need to do now is just flip. You flip it over like this, you know, we'll cut it like this, it's like this, so just flip over like this, you turn it around, turn it around like this, then you are going to trim, you follow the same shape, up to this place then this place again you are going to add additional half because of both allowance again you know we are cutting the uh both the two side front and the two side back together so you are going to add half inch again for this place that is on this place you understand but meanwhile you are coming like this the same shape with the front when you get here you connect to this half then you come here just like this you look at it you see you're going to see that half because of the um bot space and that is going to be on the two side back so after when you might have done this you flip over again like this you flip over again like this then you place um this front one just uh on each other like this with half inch you can just place it with a half inch so now you are going to take your hip measurement divided by four your waist measurement divided by four and your knee measurement divided by four and you know to get your knee, round knee measurement is just remove six inches from your hip measurement to get your um, round knee measurement. So the hip is 40 divided by 4 which is 10 inches plus 2 inches so in allowance. The waist is 34 which is 8 uh, divided by 4 which is 8 and a half plus 2 inches so in allowance then definitely this one will not be 36 oh sorry 34 34 again plus uh divided by four plus two inches so in allowance so from here now 
you just open it to the last edge of the fabric you just open to the last edge of the fabric you open to the last edge of the fabric then you cut out you open to the last edge of the fabric like this then you cut it out then you can decide to just notch this place then you notch this place so now this is the front then this is the two side front and the two side back remember we added um half inch to this other side to give it both uh both shape so what you do now is you pick two out like this then you are going to trim that half inch you trim it off from the remaining two so this one you trim off now is going to be for the front this one you trim off is going to be for the front so this one that has shape is going to be um for the back so now this is the two side back this is the two center back making it four pieces so this is the two side front plus the two center front making it four pieces so four plus four eight pieces so it's as simple as that thank you very much everybody for watching please don't forget to share and subscribe see you guys next time